this is different. Picked up the three of pinnacles. Thank you, Grandma. Thank you. Thank you, seven, five, three, eight. Hey, sweet serenity. Goddess of life. The goddess of life. Who all knows something about the goddess of life? Anybody's familiar with the goddess of life? the pride tarot and I'm gonna tell y'all why it's the pride tarot Actually, thanks, best version. I appreciate the affirmation. Thank you, Capricorn. Thank you, Shortcake. Thank you, Denise. <laughs> yeah, you do. Seven, five, three, eight. I'm fucking weak. <laughs> Be bonita. I'm joked out. I can't believe they put that in the song. I'm joked out. <laughs> hey, blazing blue. Hey, blazing blue. I'm from the United States of America. I am in New Orleans, Louisiana. Okay. Look, let me tell you, I was literally, I was literally, I was literally by somebody's house because their baby was having a party, right? And there was so many children out there in a pool, girls, a big, big swimming pool, but it was nothing but children. Maybe like, I would say six mamas, maybe six, six or seven mamas, right? Including me and my sister. And this song came on and all the women started dancing to the song. 
I looked around at the women, I looked around at the children, and I was listening to the song, and I said, this is why we got all these children. This is exactly why we got all these children. I'm talking about some, get you some. Okay. We already got some, a lot of it, okay? Because apparently, <laughs> but I'm doing good, too. I really just need three more cards. Honestly, I just really want the, my guides, my spirit guides to clarify the ending of this reading in the last three cards so that I can, okay, okay, eight of wands, I'm gonna keep shuffling. Please clarify this. Please clarify this. It's funny because I'm pulling a whole bunch of my my root chakra energy right now. So let's see. I'm not playing a game. This is a reading for me, honestly. I'm doing a reading for myself. Thank you for the gift, y'all. I'm halfway at my, to my fourth star. And yeah. you think I don't know that, Janina? Okay, so yeah. Um, yeah. It is what it is. Please clarify the end of this reading. Please. Because I'm starting to feel certain energies come through. And I don't know if, I guess I, I, it is my energy. It definitely has to be my energy. <laughs> Duh. But it's getting overwhelming now. It's getting overwhelming. Thank you, Trolla. This last card must go to... Ah, I got to clarify this tower. I got a whole tower. I got to clarify this tower. No. No. I got to clarify this. I got the tower just now, guys. So the tower, basically the tower card, from what I've learned already, like thus far, reading, watching other people read, the tower card is like a transformation. You see, it's like a transformation in your life. And dep depending on the description or the illustration of what the card looks like, it ties into what specifically maybe or maybe going on in your life or in a collective's life. So as you can see here, there's a tower. The tower is being burned. And then there's a crown at the top of the tower that's kind of falling down. And then the guy here, he's just looking like, oh my gosh, the tower is falling. My tower is falling, so maybe, okay. This is giving me the feeling that, thank you, Sky. I appreciate that. I didn't even see you in a building. Thank you. From the t from this card, right, um, it's really giving me the idea that I could think about this in a collective sense or I could think about this in a more personal sense. Thank you, Melanin Goddess. So I'm going to do it in a more personal sense since this reading was for me. But I'm definitely going to have to clarify this card because this is not the ending of... This is definitely not the ending of this reading. Usually when you pull a tower card, you need to clarify it. Like, like meaning... Clarifying meaning um, asking maybe what's to come after the tower moment or... What transition you might be going through after the tower moment or why is the tower moment happening per se? But for me personally, because there's a crown here 
usually when I see other tarot car, other tower cards and tarot, it's really just like a natural disaster that happens, like the earth, right? The earth, a uh, earth element is always in every tower card. If you've no, if you haven't noticed, and some of them are the building just falling down, like you know maybe there was an earthquake. There are fire ones, obviously volcanic ones that represent fire, more fiery ones. There are ones where it looks like the tower is being blown down. You know what I'm saying? And then there's even tower cards with water in it, like with the ocean behind it. But in my tower card from this specific deck that I chose to read in my life. What's up, Melanin Goddess? Thank you. I appreciate that. Welcome, Ty. Hey, Fly. Welcome. So in my tarot card that I chose, right, it's obviously a lot of passion in my life. Something in my life is passionately being torn away or falling apart. Like, it's really strong energy. Obviously, fire represents passion. Fire represents borderline aggression, right? Fire represents hurt like hurting because fire burns so it's painful it's a painful transition that i'm going through thank you fly i appreciate that there's a painful transition that i'm going through and i'm almost kind of stunned by it because i thought by this crown representing like to me personally based on my own interpretation from my reading I appreciate that, Fly. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. The crown is my ideas. It is my mindset. It is my mentality. It is the way that I think. It is the way that I treat myself. It is the way that I carry myself. Crowns are representing royalty, is representing um, wealth, is representing high authority, is representing leadership, is representing abundance and prosperity and forgiveness this is what crowns represent um crowns represent grace you know um they put people crown crowns put people in very high places up more in the political ladder versus somebody who may not wear a crown but wears a brochet or a brush or the little flowers and you know what i'm saying but so in regards to the crown, it's a very high way of thinking. And it, I built I built all of my ideas and everything on this specific foundation that was not necessarily congruent to what I was thinking. It might have been going in the right direction. It might have been me continuing to put my manifestation out there, but the foundation that was under me was not it was not the proper reflection of how I think. It was just things that I was coming along or gathering things along my journey. I was going along on my journey, grabbing certain things and certain people and building on top of that foundation. And now it's being drastically burned out of my life. Like as a purification process, fire, is is a purification process when anything burns this is why we use candles this is why we use fire we we like we love to keep fire on our altars and especially paired with water earth and air because this literally you know um helps the earth purify and crystallize when you put fire under something it crystallizes into a whole new perspective into a whole new things so all of my ideas all of my self-worth everything that i think about myself and the way that i think about life is being put under pressure this is what i'm seeing from this card for me personally which resonates because <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> my throat chakra is activating guys <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> Thank you, Sky. I appreciate that. So personally, this is just personal. This is personal. Um, something that I would like to just share with everybody, a message that's coming through. 
now that I'm even in my own energies and seeing the cards that I've been dealt, uh, Spirit wants me to let everyone know, including myself, um, try not to think, take things personal in your lives because for a lot of us, we take things too personal when other things happen to other people and we feel unappreciated, maybe unwanted, maybe misunderstood by the person it's happening to. But Spirit wants me to let everybody know to follow through on communication. And I know I'm saying it to you right now, but this is also the message that's for me. Follow through with communication because I need to clarify this tower card so I can be able to tell you why, right? But that's what Spirit is telling me right now <clears throat> after interpreting the tower card. Thank you, Fly. Thank you for the gifts. I appreciate that. Thank you. I'm almost to my fourth star. I appreciate that. Hey, Cake Boss. I need to clarify the tower card. Um, but as everyone knows, for me personally, um, what, what I'm experiencing are people in my life who are looking at me, not for who I am, but from what they think of me outside of getting to know me by connecting with me. And I don't know if maybe a collective of us are, are going through that. And maybe that's why my energy is publicized the way that it is. Thank you, Tweet. I appreciate that. And maybe um, society is looking at me the way that it is as a reflection to maybe how they were treated in their past. And my energy is being utilized as a catalyst to show all of humanity how to transmute negative energy, get over it, move forward, and continue to prosper in the energy signature that you authentically are, rather than letting things that you go through in life taint the foundation of who you are, which potentially puts you in a state of being a robot or a zombie or impressionable or controlled by someone else's thoughts, ideas, ways of life, habits, friends, family, you start to surround your pe yourself with the idea or with ideas that are of someone else and not your own. And a lot of us may feel like our lives are out of control, maybe. We don't have enough control over what's going on, but Spirit is also telling me, Spirit, whatever you wanna call it, God is channeling through, is telling me that even though things are happening to you that you feel like you don't have control over, when you force or push an issue to exist in your life or manifest in your life and it is not what you need, then you're going to get experiences and messages from source that's going to readjust you being on your spiritual journey. It's going to realign you back into your purpose. Things are gonna happen to you that are gonna transform you transform your perspective and put you back on the path that you were supposed to be on originally. And God is telling me to tell all of us, including myself, that we need not to try to take control over what's going on in our lives, rather than continue to put faith in the supreme source that reigns life, that reigns over life, in life, and through life, with or without us. Learn how to put faith back into that aspect of yourself so that you can start manifesting a reality that is congruent with who you authentically are. 
The reason why we feel like we don't have control is because we're living in a life that is not who we are, that is not a, re a, a representation of who we are. And so maybe we feel like other people have the strings to our life. But in order to gain control is to surrender faith in allowing God to guide you out of that situation and back into alignment with who you authentically are and, and not to disobey what God is telling you to do. Sometimes that might come into a form of travel. Sometimes that might come into the form of retreat sometimes that might come into the form of communication that might come into the form of um being social it just depends on you and it depends on what you're going through so with that being said i'm just gonna go ahead and try to clarify this tower card because i appreciate all these gifts thank you sky thank you spotlight i appreciate y'all thank you so much I'm really just trying to understand what's going on in my life right now. That's why I did it on myself. But, yeah, I literally am in a place in my life where I'm feeling who I am. I'm becoming one and with what I think and what I know and what I feel reigns to be truth with inside of me. And I'm not allowing anything to come in and maybe distract me from that feeling that I have. Thank you, Fly. I appreciate that. Thank you, Sky. I also appreciate you. Thank you, DM Tara. And I, that is a um, energy that all of us need to step into, a power that all of us need to step into because it is you. It is your power. It is your solar plexus energy that is you know you and what other what 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 else greater that you could tap into rather than who you actually are like what's there better to do you know that you know being you is what you came here to do you know and if you're not being you then you're being controlled by someone else or something else you know and you're sad and miserable and you don't know what to do because you've built a life around someone else's expectations i do have the judgment card here i have the judgment card you're literally letting others judge you up based upon what they like or dislike and it's putting you in a situation where you feel misunderstood it's putting you in a place where you feel unheard and and maybe that's why it's falling so passionately out of your it's falling down so passionately out of your life or out of my life because i'm tired i'm tired of that energy i'm tired of people's opinion of me coming into my world and then me somehow subjecting myself to whatever they thought of me and allowing that to be my reality. I know what I deserve. I know what I need. I know how to take care of myself. I know the direction I'm going in. I know how I need to get there in this moment or the precaution that I need to take to get there in this moment. So anything that's not serving me, I'm rebuking it. And it's like this guy who's standing on the side, if you can see his, his, um, this depiction, he's leaning back. Normally times in Terra towers, the person is like not looking at the tower, maybe covering their head like, Oh, right there are some that are down on the ground some people are already on the ground as if they couldn't run away or they were running away too slowly from the falling tower this man's depiction in here is like standing afar he looks surprised but he also looks like he expected it to happen 
maybe this is just my interpretation, but he's, his leg is forward and his other leg is back and his body language is not really a running away more so than looking at the tower. Thank you, Fly. I appreciate that. Thank you, Sky. I appreciate that. Thank you, Spotlight. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And this is what it looks like. And this this depiction of this man, I don't know if you guys can see it, but he actually has a sword. So maybe he was the one who manifested this tower moment to happen so that he can maybe take control over the foundation. You know, you know, maybe he wanted to, maybe he wanted to create some situation, you know, that could be of substance, you know, after the falling down of the tire tower. And why I say that, if you look closely at the tower, you can see nature. And this is why in the beginning, I asked you guys if any of you were familiar with the goddess of life, because nature is life. Nature is what sustains us. And if we're not putting ourselves and living sustainable natural lives in any kind of way that connects us to source the divine source which we call god then we're living outside of life we're cho we're literally choosing death and to see that there's a lot of greenery and the green is actually growing up the tower it's not that this tower was bad or that it was built on maybe bad intentions because the intention lies here in the crown and the intention also lies here within nature there's no there's not towers with nature growing up the sides nature is authentic nature is pure anything that falls or burns on the land will j obviously we all know that the earth and the enzymes that make up the earth are adaptable they adapt to anything right so even if the fire was to come down and burn the ground we would think that it would be dead ground but it's really not because once that whatever whatever weed that is that's growing that wasn't healthy for the tower in the first place that's why it's growing up when it burns all of that down, you're going to have a clean slate. You can easily put fertilizer down there and create something new and build something new. You just have to be able to see the opportunity. The crown is falling. What I feel, the crown is falling because the tower is burning from the top, is burning from the root. People, people think that um, if you're looking in this, at this aspect as like... Um, of a mental thought process right if you're looking at this card as mental in a mental way rather than maybe like in a more literal way buildings fall or are, are falling apart from the top rather than the bottom normally even if the ground cracks from the bottom you know the house is going to crack but then the top is going to start falling down and this was the original this this was the original reason why the tower was built but now whatever the tower was built upon like all of these little bricks are ideas they are people they are things that we go through they are you know things that come into our life that we stay and keep attached to like lies you know we've built our lives if we look at our lives as towers we can see all of the beliefs that we've used to build our life. We can look at all the people that in, are in our life, you know, that built the foundation or are a part of the foundation of the, of the life we live. Our friends, our families, the things that we put into our lives, you can see them. And the tower, like I said, looking at it in a, in a mental picture, these, this is all of the, these are all of the things, so it's falling away. The crown is the crown is falling down, which means that there's not going to be much more sus that sustains this tower because the crown, once the crown is gone, that's it. That's it. This whole thing is being destroyed. And then it's got fire. That's not a good look. But it doesn't have to be interpreted as negative. It's just that maybe someone's really gone through something in their life where they need purification where they need this stuff to exit their lives so that they can start building a more beautiful foundation upon the one that they already have. Because even though this nature looks all nasty and it may look like weeds, it's really beautiful. 
it's a really beautiful thing. And also, yes, towers rep represents new beginnings as well. And so with that being said, you know, we're headed towards a new beginning. And I'm pretty sure all of you guys seen me posting it. Tower moments are definitely needed. Tower moments are important pieces, you know? Towers are important pieces to our lives to evolve us into more um, loving beings, you know, more spiritual beings. And I'm still, I'm still trying to literally clarify this tower card. Now, uh, this is amazing. This is amazing. But yeah, you can't hear me, Alexandria. What? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah. I need to clarify this power card. Um, please don't, um, in this moment, I want everybody to refrain, my supporters, uh, if I please would ask you to not tell me how to... I'm gonna put this in the words because guys telling me to tell you this because it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna block it's gonna block the reading. So um as my supporters, I would like for you to just stay focused on don't worry about what I'm doing, just stay focused on what I'm saying because you're gonna get distracted. I know what I'm doing. God's moving through me right now, so you have nothing to worry about, and neither do I. And there we go we clarified it wow one card okay 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 wow oh my god omg that is the end of this reading i'm gonna leave on that note because there's no much more. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Do you see this? Do you see this? Oh man, that is funny. Now that, that is a strong ending. <laughs> That is a strong ending. Not only, okay, so this is a, I'm sorry, they got mosquitoes and flies out here. Borderline muggy. There, this is a tarot deck and some men are just like women. Some women are just like men. There are women and women couples and there are men and women couples and there's men and man couples. So it's a bit of variety of everything, right? The reason why I chose this deck was because I really do like to do tarot readings, um, not too specific on gender, but more specific on energy. And the, the pride, the pride tarot gives me the opportunity to not put labels, uh, gender labels on things that I'm trying to express that's coming through from God. And so, but this card, the reason why I say that is because it's it's a woman and a beautiful woman at that. This is the first card that I've picked out of this whole tarot um this whole tarot guide or deck. There's this beautiful woman with a crown on her head. Just like the tower moment if you can't see that. I don't know if you guys can see the symbolism in that, but look, there's also the infinity sign here. And then there's this sign. Maybe, I don't know what that means, but that's standing out to me. And then also this card is fire and this card is water. But there's also fire energy within this card because the lion here, Leo, this is Leo right here. Leo, the crown, the king of the jungle, the queen of the jungle, 
the crown. Are we are we depicting reality right now? Are we depicting reality right now? Come on, guys. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. <sighs> okay, now that we got it clarified. This is so amazing. Mosquitoes are biting me now. Oh my God. Okay, let's see. The first card I picked was Three of Pentacles. I don't know what that means. So let's read. And then once I... Wow, it went straight to the Three of Pentacles. Out of all these pages, it went straight to the Three of Pentacles. This was the only... This was... Excuse me. That was only two cards that I read out of my whole tarot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight more cards to read. Well, I'm going to read all of them. Nine, ten. I'm going to read all of them. But the tower and the strength, I just depicted that intuitively as it fell out, right? Three of Pentacles is about collaboration, teamwork, and coming together with others to create something that benefits the greater community. An elderly woman offers free grandma hugs at the pride parade to a young person who has been rejected by their own family because their sexual orientation. Now I want to put this into perspective, right? When this book reads in a um, same gender way or in a way that is polarity or an opposite of maybe grown people versus old people they're they're talking they're using pride or the gay life to explain to us how things that are happening in a straight person's lives are it are are or maybe is the same things that's happening in the gay person's life and this Terra deck is specifically breaking those boundaries between us criticizing whether we're gay or straight. Because when we take away gender and we take away preference, we're all going through the same things, just in different ways and in different times. So this, this Terra deck is very interesting because it really puts things into perspective you know for instance it says any young person who has she she gives out free grandma hugs free grandma hugs uh to people to any young person who has been rejected by their own family because of their sexual orientation this definitely happens in a gay community people are ostracized by not only their parents but by their friends and families in in other areas of the world and criticized to a extreme degree not a helping degree but a extreme degree and just like those children or people who experience that there are children who are rejected because of the way that they think some parents re neglect or or reject their child because their child did not listen to what they wanted them to do or had taken the advice that they want her to do you know what I'm saying? So it's like, all of us were rejected in a way and we all need a free grandma hug, right? Other friends and family members also carry signs of love and support. This is what is they're doing here to support. They're supporting this person that was neglected. The entire parade is a community collaboration that proclaims the that the youth are loved, celebrated, and support just supported just as they are. I choose to interpret the Three of Pentacles in this way after being moved to tears at our local pride parade, watching so many young people being embraced by surrogate mothers, fathers, and grandparents. Yeah, so basically, it's a person in society who is rejected 
who is ostracized, who is criticized, who is said, don't, this bitch ain't shit, I don't like her. That is me. That is me. I'm rejected in many ways. People do not deal with me for who I am. They deal with me for the idea of who they think I am. And so there is a community and support that lies beyond all of those trials and tribulations that let me know that I am supported, that I am loved, that I am cherished beyond those extremities in which I face or whatever the case may be. There is, this is a sign, the three of pentacles is what I'm getting is that I'm protected. I'm loved, I'm supported, I am I have abundance, I have prosperity, I, I am okay, you know, I don't need to be sad over anything, I don't need to feel neglected, I don't need to feel um, judged and pushed away, because somewhere I am understood, in some group of people, somewhere, whether I'm talking to them physically or not, I am understood and that's all that matters. And I need to not take this away from myself because if I do, then I'm going to be lonely. I'm going to feel lonely and that's going to put me in a bitter, a bitter place. And I don't want to be in a bitter place. I'm not in a bitter place. I don't feel bitterness inside of me. I am, I feel supported. I feel loved amongst all of the adversity, amongst all of the shit that people say about me. I feel supported. And so that's what matters. And our next card is the Judgment card. This is what the Judgment card looks like. I don't know if you guys can see that. But this is what the Judgment card looks like. So we're about to go read what the Judgment says. Judgment, Judgment. Let's see. Let's see. Judgment. The Judgment Tarot card is one of, is one self, wait, the Judgment Tarot card is one of self-reflection, realization, awakening, and new beginnings. Yes, honey, come through. The traditional card depicts an angel playing the trumpet as three arise, or three, or playing the trumpet as three people rise from graves with outstretched arms i choose to replace the angel with the poet due to her inspirational role as a source of guidance and comfort for queer women instead of nude figures raising from graves i depict two women and one child all clothed and living this represents a new beginning that come with accepting one sexuality and or gender identity and the way in which this can can be a spiritual and permanently life-changing experience holy crap all my single mothers show up and show out and no wonder okay what i'm getting from this card now that i've read that There's a divine feminine energy here, obviously in this card. There's a divine feminine energy here, especially here up at the top. This is really significant in like our now and days and time. Like if you could think about the things that we're currently going through as women, you know, what does the woman community look like? Well, there's a whole bunch of single mothers with, a ch with children and women are confiding or wanting to confide in each other for this support that they are not getting raising these children. And it turns a negative eye to society because then society treats these women who are standing up for themselves, who are pushing their power forward and they're being criticized for that. Oh, because you you claim to be a single mother, you don't want to be with a man. You don't want black men to be in the families because you feel like you don't need a man because you can do it yourself. It's not that women or feminine energy feel like we can 
do it all on ourselves or that we want to do it all of ourselves it is just that that is how society is right now you know um, men um, a lot of men's mind are on other things I know both of my baby fathers you know who are the fathers of my children their minds aren't taking care of this child their minds aren't being um, productive and good for the sake of this child and changing whatever it is that they need to change in their lives to protect this child you know I have to worry about that and when I'm doing that, when I'm doing that righteous thing for my child, I feel like I'm connecting to God. I feel like I am being the woman that God wants me to be by raising this child that altered my life drastically, that changed my life, this circumstance that changed my life. And because I feel the power with inside of me, because I've connected to God, you're jealous. <coughs> <coughs> Damn, <coughs> hold up. <coughs> Girl, if that wasn't a mouthful. Hold up. <coughs> hold up. <coughs> hold up. <coughs> Woo, girl. Woo, girl. Woo. Woo, this is spiritual. Woo, okay. Give me a second. <laughs> Oh my God. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Yeah, honey. Yeah, honey. <clears throat> it represents, this represents a new beginning and the outcome with accepting who this woman is. This is a new beginning where someone comes and accepts her for who she truly is or the gender identity that she identifies with and the way in which this can be a spiritual and permanently life-changing experience. Don't get me started. Is that resonating for anybody in the room or am I the only one who just choked on this divine message? Okay, so, okay, Spotlight is in the building. Hey, hey, London, it's resonating for Spotlight, you guys. The next card that I have, hey, okay, so we in there. So the next card that I have is the world. That's what I have, the world. Let's see what the world entails. The world, okay, let's see. The world, the world. We have um, major icona, arcanas here uh, in this reading. The judgment or judgment is a main arcana. World is a main arcana. Strength, the tower, and the lovers are main arcanas that we have in this. We have a lot of main arcanas which are good energies. These are good energies. These are um, life-changing energies. These are prosperous energies. These are energies that um, serve the well, the goodness of the well-being of whoever we are. Okay, so the world, we have the world acts you thank you for the gifts i appreciate that i'm almost to my fifth star thank you fly i appreciate that the world asks you to note the synchronized moments that mark the turning point you are at i'm gonna read that again the world asks you to note the synchronized moments that mark the turning point you are at thank you for the gifts i appreciate that trust what's in progress and bask in what's complete the world is a time where we are all well we we are able to rise above our trauma 
our own mistakes and honor our self-worth as our consciousness is elevated and strong enough to fight and willing to survive. Yo, this shit is deep. Yo, thank you, London. The world has access to all of their gifts as their past, present, and future is finally integrated in one body. The world is prone to direct action, direct truth, and direct responsibility. The world is energetically aligned, broad in vision, and willing to listen. The world can see and feel the reality of healing as they walk through the earth in the truest manifestation of themselves. That is exactly what the fuck is going on right now. In layman terms, that means that I am truly, me personally, because this was my reading for sure. This basically in layman terms means that I'm coming into my fucking power. Pretty much. I'm coming into my power. And baby, all, all of that other shit I went through, all of the stuff that I've ever been through, all of the stuff that is that will happen to me, all the stuff that could ever happen to me, I'm overcoming. I'm overcoming and authentically manifesting a reality congruent with who I am. Period. Period. This is what this is. The world. This is transformation. This is certain parts of myself that we're over here and I'm over here and I'm over here and I'm dibbling and dabbling between who I want to be today. It's all integrated into one person. I'm solidifying my energy signature. I'm solidifying. I'm, I'm standing up for myself. I'm saying, this is what I want. This is what I don't want. If you come into my life, this is, you know, this will be the standard on what I expect you know, at least I appreciate and will um, honor your differences and agree to disagree if I ever have to politely. I will always communicate with you. I will always um, have respect for you in regards for the individual that you are and the personality that you possess. But what you won't do is um, come into my life. And if any aspect of you hurts me in any kind of way, takes from me in any kind of way make me stressed out in any kind of way make me go out of outside of who i am or alter my reality because it because it is you're doing whatever it is that you want to do if it's hurting me i remove it i completely no longer intertwine with that energy because that is not me that is not me. And I expect everybody else to do the same way. I expect everybody else to have that same thing. Because what you don't want to do, what you never want to do, is it's all about you at the end of the day. If something is not serving you, you have to take the proper precautions to eliminate it out of your life or continue letting it deplete the life out of you. That's not saying to be uppity that's not saying to disregard other people and be mean and be rude and be nasty that just means that you have standards that just means that you have value that you know your value and that you're not gonna let anybody come along to destroy whatever that is that you have for yourself or treat you any less than what they should be treating you that's all that that means you see and so all of us need to have that because the more the older we get or the more seasoned we get the more our realities change and develop because our thinking changes and develop over time we expand our consciousness so at any moment you need to be there for yourself if you're attached to somebody else that's really truly not there for you then you're going to be held back and held stagnant and and potentially be taken advantage of 
And so we shouldn't let that happen to us. We shouldn't let that happen to at no degree, not a man and or not a woman. If something isn't serving you, of course, pray about it and make sure that it is the right decision that you're making. But if it is something that does not resonate with your soul or who you are or being a reflection of what you feel that you want to see in your world, you have every right, every birthright to em eliminate this entity this idea this whatever it is up out of your life so the next card that i got in regards to that is this card this is simply just aligning my chakras um continue to keep <coughs> <coughs> the message that i'm getting with this one is to keep continuing to um align my chakras um continue to heal those specific parts of me that hold me back from my prosperity or abundance in any kind of way whether that be through relationships partnerships business shifts whatever it is and it says the root chakra is healing i mean life the root chakra is life the orange chakra is healing and then there's sunlight nature serenity and spirit and so it's just reminding me to keep these things in my life to keep myself aligned spiritually and so that's what i get from that one and five of swords we have five of swords so let's see what five of swords say it's all interconnected thank you for the gifts everybody i appreciate that Five of Swords. Let's see. Five of Swords. The original meaning of Five of Swords card represents conflict and dishonorable action, such as bullying and unfair fights. Traditionally, the card focuses on the individual who seems to have been the aggressor, who has separated from the group. In this Five of Swords, the victor is now the person who has suffered injustices and hostility. The person in this card, in this card, this person with this sword in this card, the victor is now the person who has... It, it, it is, is the person who has suffered injustices and hostilities. This is the person, the victor is the person who have endured injustice and hostilities in this card. When usually it is the other way around. This, like it said, this card usually represents the person or the individual who seems to have been the aggressor. But in this deck and in this card, the representation of the Five of Swords is that the victor is the person who endured the injustices and hostilities. That is interesting. Here, he has distanced himself by overcoming abuse, trauma, and prejudice. I wanted to illustrate a black trans individual overcoming those very obstacles and coming out on top. The two figures in the background are the very manifestations of bullying and of oppression that trans people, especially trans people of color, deal with on a daily basis. So this is basically somebody harassing this person, bullying this person, telling this person all kinds of negative things, telling this person down, talking to the down upon this person, making this person believe that they are incompetent in some kind of way. A person is doing this to this person in this deck. And out of it all, this person overcomes all of the naysayers, overcomes all of the all of the rumors, all of the he says, she says, all of the whole, what is she doing with her life now? Is she going back or is she not? This person overcomes all of that. All of that. Three of Wands, moving on. Three 
Three of Wands is a very interesting picture. Three of Wands. This is what the Three of Wands looks like. This is interesting. <clears throat> this card has our figure looking out into the great beyond. The Three of Wands is about looking forward to what is next. It's about fiercely, fearlessly facing change and transition in life. The three tree limbs represent the plans we have grown and nurtured, the work we have put in, have put into getting where we are presently. The figure turns her back to the sparrows as they chaotically play and try to distract her. Parts of our past can hold us back, uprooting the time and effort we have laid out. With one arm firmly on the tree, we move forward with our plans, facing the challenges ahead. When I drew, I put nature above us and looming larger than us. Our challenge is to find our place in the natural world and to understand our own inner nature. Thank you, pretty black. So, if I'm glowing, you understand why. And it ain't only because of no pregnancy. That card, this card represents, this card, our challenge, our challenge is to find our place in the natural world, in nature, and to understand our own inner nature. You have to understand yourself. You have to understand the place that you have in this world. You have to understand your purpose. And you can't do that by living, with, living by or living out what someone else said or what someone else suggests. You have to figure this out on your own you have to ask for guidance you have to understand your own inner nature because no one can understand you better than you other than maybe the person that you are married to but even then you understand you better you understand you like no one else ever will period and that must be conquered and accomplished and it is and it is the lovers that's a main arcana let's see what the lovers interprets Ooh, who's loving me my lover's card okay blah 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 blah, blah. not reading that I don't get this. Okay, let me see. I'm going to just read it all out. My lover's car incorporates scene from the NYC Queer Liberation March on June 30th, 2019. The phrase, an army of lovers cannot lose, was used in the headline of a, le of a leaflet distribution, distri distribute, distributed, Leaflet distributed at the June 1990 NYC Parade March. If there, this is the quote, this is the quote, right? If there were only some way of contriving that a state or an army should be made up of lovers and their loves, 
they would be the very best governors of their own city. Abstaining from all dishonor and emulating one another in honor and when fighting at each other's side, although a mere handful, they would overcome the world. Tremble to the to the to the tremble to the cadence of my legacy, and armies of lovers shall not fail. Okay, so I'm not getting like I like partnership here in the sense of romantic, rather than a symbol of people who love each other, a loving community that have each other backs. That is what I'm getting here. Um, if we were to operate more collectively, even humanitarian, humanitarian, humanitarianly, if we were to act in a more loving way towards each other, we'd be there more for each other in a sense of protection, in a sense of um, protecting whatever that person has, has or went through or is about to go through or is facing. You know, we would support each other more. We would be here for each other more. We wouldn't be making fun of each other. We wouldn't be laughing at each other. We wouldn't be putting each other down in any kind of way. Even if we both went through something, we wouldn't be doing that. We would simply have so much love for one another that, you know, nothing could come and impede the love, the purity of the love that reigns within that community of people not even the government these people would be the governors of their own world these people would have you know a very beautiful living space because they're they're not going to allow anything to come in that would taint the 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 essence of love you know and it just is what it is now i have three cards left i have the eight of wands The Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands was inspired by the spirit of Frida. Thank you, Sunkissed. I appreciate you. This card depicts messages dispatched or received with great purpose and electricity. In the upright position, the Eight of Wands is a great communicator capable of disseminating or harvesting strong and coherent ideas the eight reveals the glad the gleams the gleams truth though listening learning though listening learning and educating for the pride tarot the eight of wands encourages you to step from fear into authenticity dare to be vulnerable and generous with your personal truth and story the car urges an empowered outlook and fosters confidence in the knowledge that you will find connection and community. Your voice is strong, and if you remain open to any opportunities to both student and teacher are there, wait, you, your, your voice is strong, and if you remain open, many opportunities to be both student and teacher are there to be taken. You are widely seen and valued and admiration comes your way from near and far. Flaunt your colors and your bravery will be rewarded. Oh, 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 God told me to do it. God told me to do it. God told me to do it. If y'all not following me, then let me tell you something. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let, 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 God told me to do it. If y'all didn't catch that, if you didn't, if you didn't catch that, you don't need to catch it. God told me to do it. People keep asking me, oh, why are you on social media? You need to get off social media so you can heal. Bitch, I am healed. Don't it look like I'm healing? If you can't see that I'm healing, then something is wrong with your brain. And you need to go do some serious self-reflection because you can't see. You literally cannot see God. Literally. Period. 
Period, po, period, po, period, 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 po. Let me tell you something. Y'all about to get a whole new Velvet Gabriella. Y'all wanted to ask for her. Y'all summon her. The first y'all was summoning Eliana because uh, everybody knew me as Eliana. Blah, 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 blah. Bitch, I'm Velvet Gabriella. You want to know who Velvet Gabriella is? Okay, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you, Shingles. This is who I am, Shingles. I'm going to make Shingles out of an example right now in the chat. You want to know what Eliana would have did with Shingles? Go to fuck off on Shingles. But you know what Velvet Gabriella do? Uh, 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 you could leave. You could leave. I don't need you here. I don't want you here. I don't want nobody here that don't want to be in my life. I don't want nobody here that got something to say about me. You don't know me, period. And I don't know you, so I'm not going to waste time on you. Anyway... Anyway, and the strength is coming through. The strength is coming through. Literally. Yes, fly. I'm going to add you as an admin. Let me get it. Nigga, please. Honey, 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 honey. Ta, ta, ta. I'm going to rub it in your face. Rub it in your face. I don't know how I'm in two lives. Somebody pro probably recording me got me in somebody else's live. But the the strength is coming through, though. The strength is coming through, though. And niggas gonna be mad. People gonna be mad at me. But I don't care. God told me to rub it in. Rub, 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 rub it in. Rub it in. Rub, rub it in. Because guess what? People really made bets on my life made bets on my children's head and guess what i ain't never seen none of that money and y'all say that i got all the money and all the money coming to me and da 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 and da 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 baby as far as i'm concerned you got more money than me and at this point i'm gonna need a little bit what's in your pocket huh ta 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 the strength is coming through for me it's the strength for me it's the strength for me. It's the not asking nobody nothing and handling my own business for me. And people come and help me because they see that I am healing myself. Because I want better for myself. Because I am pushing my strength forward. Period. For me. Period. For me. Period. Period. And you don't know nobody like it. And that's why you mad. And that's why you stay blocked. And you can't watch. So get out of my life. Get out. Get out, 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 get out. Yes, I'm invoking it. Get out. Because guess what's coming behind that? Guess what's coming behind get out? Strength, baby. Strength. And you better believe it. Always believe it. You said I couldn't do it. You said I couldn't do this. You said I couldn't do that. You said I wasn't going to be this. You said I was going to be that. But look at you now. Look at you now. In the present and in the near future, you really going to feel stupid. And we going to watch. And we going to sit back and rain, baby. Boom. Boom. Say something now. Say something now. What's wrong with your back? Your back is hurting. My back not hurting. Our back's not hurting. We over here. We healed over here. We healed over here. We about to find something to heal that back. Because guess what? Our back cannot be out of whack on this spiritual attack. Okay? We need to get it together. All the way together. If it's hurting, say, I. it's not hurting. It will not hurt. I demand you to stop hurting. Period. Period. What happened? I'm so confused now. <coughs> Oh my God, this is so amazing. Thank you guys for supporting me. I kicked you. I kicked you. Did I kick you? I thought I, I'm really tripping, bro. I'm really joked out. <laughs> Yo, I didn't mean to do that. Actually, I was on autopilot because I've been kicking people. Like, before, but when you asked me to become an admin, I was in autopilot of kicking people out, so I might made a mistake and kicked you out, but I could definitely make you an admin. I'm sorry. I I apologize about that. That did not that not that was not supposed to happen. 
that was not supposed to happen. Now you are admin on this page, the page you want right now. Girl, I know you lying. Girl, thank you, Pretty Rebel. I appreciate you. What's up? I don't know how to... I think we're going to talk about it later. I don't know how to unmute or unblock. I just... I don't know. But I made you an admin on the other page. But anyway, thank you, Pretty Rebel. I appreciate y'all. That was the reading for the day. Shit. If that wasn't pure enough for you... Baby, you need to go cleanse your soul. You need to go, if that wasn't pure for you, you need to go take a spiritual bath, honey. And you need to go sit down and pray to God heals you from whatever it is that you got going on. Because that just spoke to my entire soul. Entire soul. And I thank you, Fly. And I thank you, Spotlight. I appreciate you guys supporting me. As always, literally, this is amazing, yo. And look, at the end of the day, it's still there. It's still there. This is why the title, exactly, King Cairo, this is why the, the title of my live or this Vigo live, whatever it is, is I am thankful for what I have. I am literally thankful for what I have because everything that I am getting in my life right now is showing me, like I told you, that tower card I had with that fire up underneath or on top of whatever it was, is purifying. My life is purifying from the negativity, purifying from the bullshit. And anybody that has any type of remnants, remnants or whatever it is inside their heart that it, that are in my life attached to me physically are getting out are getting out and i'm happy about that and i am not apologetic about it because i deserve it just like you should want that in your life period do not allow evil to come into your life and change you do not let negativity come into your life and change you don't be that person because the energy you give out is the reality that you manifested and potentially the karmic debt that you're going to be paying when god smack your ass whoop your ass so on that note i'm gonna go ahead and wrap that up because i'm totally in my essence Y'all gonna, tch, I told you, I was not somebody that just could be stopped easily. Like, you got, if you sit there and try to stop me from doing anything that I'm doing, or try to try to put me down in any kind of way, God gonna make sure I go harder on your ass. Like, that's just the way it's set up. Because there's no, there's love that sits here inside of me. There's understanding that sits here inside of me. There is wisdom that sits here inside of me. I am somebody very important. Yes, I am somebody important. Just like you're somebody that's important. But you know how I lived for the 24 years of my life? Invisible. Do you know how that feels? Do you know what it's like? And I want all of us to imagine this. Do you know what it's like to live your life, have friends, have family, have this, have that, husbands, children, whatever. And you was invisible. I'm talking about people tell you what you want to hear. People make you think or try to act like they understand you, but they really don't. And then you come to find that out and you feel invisible. Do you know what that makes me feel like amongst, you know, who I thought loved me, who I thought cared about me, who I thought had my back, who I thought was doing this for me, and come to find out they weren't, and I was sitting here putting all the love in, putting all the loyalty in, putting all the trust in, putting all the everything in, and then I get slapped in the face for it? You will not. You will not continue. You will not continue to reign in my reality, period, because I don't deserve that. I deserve the love that I give out. I, in fact, deserve the exact 
type of love and amount of love that I get that I give. I deserve that and I don't deserve anything less than that. And you need to understand your love language. You need to understand who you are and make sure that that's being implemented and you are standing found on that foundation because if you give a bitch a mile or an inch they'll take them out and they'll go do whatever it is that they want to do they'll run over you they'll say all these things behind your back they'll actually make you think that they think one way about you but in reality they actually think different they actually seeing you from a perspective that has nothing to do with who you actually are or what you actually going through that's crazy and that's weird especially when it's people that's closest to you and i'm saying that because I've experienced that, literally. And that is my truth. That is my story. That is what resonates with me. And if you don't like it, you can leave. You do not have to support me. You do not have to be in my life. You do not have to entertain watching me on your own time. You don't have to do nothing. You don't have to waste your time thinking about me. You don't have to waste your time wishing anything upon me. Because I'm going to get what I deserve in the, in the end. So you don't got to worry. You don't got to worry. You don't got to worry. And if you ask for assistance to be removed out of my life by simply interjecting or trying to implement something that does not resonate with me, I'll politely help you and remove you from my life. That's no problem. That's no problem. Either or. Either or. So, to... I'm raining exactly where I need to. Thank you, Miss Kita. Thank you, Carly, Car- Carla Beauty. I appreciate y'all. If you want to come into the live and say something with me or chat something with me, go ahead. You can. The mic is open for anybody who wants to come in. Is I already did an hour and 38 minutes, so... <coughs> Thank you. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you for the gifts. <clears throat> What's up, hey. King Taro? What's up? What's up, baby girl? How you doing? Please don't call me baby girl. Want me to tell you why? I mean, because that yeah. makes me feel like a child, and I'm not a child. I'm a grown right, so velvet, let me and call you velvet, saying, right? I, I want to say this for the record. I'm not saying I'm not only saying to that to you specifically. I'm saying that to my entire reality. People treat me like a child. People sit there and look at me like a child. Like I can't do nothing for myself. Like I don't have a mind of my own. Like I'm not. Like I don't think for myself. I have a brain. It just you know what I'm saying like I get it. I just some of used like, to you know. I get it to, from a certain perspective. People be like baby girl and stuff like that. But listen, I'm I look young. I feel young. My energy is young. But I am like I need to start She's being treated like a woman. Period. Right. That is how I want to be treated. Not only for you, King Girl, but just for anybody in general in my life. I'm tired of people treating me like a child. This is something That's personally right. that I'm going through. It has nothing to do with you, so don't take it personally. But anyway, nah, 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 nah. I'm listening. It's in general, right? Thanks. Yeah, Thanks. Yeah. I'm not a child. But anyway. Well, how the baby doing? She's taking a nap. Taking a nap. I seen some things of uh, World News was saying about you. Me and World News is kind of beefing. You know what I'm saying? We've been beefing for a few years. But I seen him. I seen him post something about you on YouTube. I was like, <laughs> Yo, what is what is why is he you know what i'm saying like you know just be he don't he's probably lesbian. he's probably a man just like every other man out there who wants to be with me but i give them no time of day so they feel played <laughs> for sure he caught it he's a cold ball thank you leo girl yeah. i appreciate you you yeah. out there um puerto rico or you will, i'm a refuse i'm a refrain from answering that question brother all right, because, I mean, one day, I might want to meet you one day. You know what I'm saying? I've been watching you for a few years. So. I don't like meeting strangers. I'm not even going to sit here and lie to you because there's people that come so, up You got to be like that. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I'm not going to sit up here and be fake either. But I understand. Like, I understand. Take my page out. I'm going to stop. I do music. I do, like, conscious god fearing music. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like a scholar. You know what I'm saying? I teach about black ancient history, biblical history, stuff like that. But, you know, I come with genuineness. 
You know what I mean? Well, that's what's up. Yeah. I'll check your music out because I like listening to, to conscious rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be posting some other stuff. I'm new to here, so you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, we can spread the message, you know, wake all the people up. Regardless, they on different paths. But, you know, for the foremost, we got to wake our people up. It's all about the black woman, a woman, uh, black man, woman, and child. For sure. Period. For sure. But I, I'm going to uh, definitely keep in contact with you. You have Let's a good up. day, King Kara. I appreciate your energy. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. They got more people. Everybody else. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to add. Oh, I added both of y'all. What's up, Up Crazy? Hello. Hey, Velvet. Are you there? Hey, Velvet. Hey, Up Crazy. Who, who's that speaking? This is heaven. This crazy mount up. Hold on. I want to hear uh, Up Crazy first. How are you? How are you, love? I'm I just, to... I've been watching you. I've been following you for a mighty long time. And I never had got the chance to. Like getting your box because I don't know if you like deal with like higher famous people, but at the end of the day, I just want to tell you keep doing what you're doing. I'm proud of you that you left that bullshit. I give up to the utmost respect to you. Like I'm in tears right now because I'm shaking so bad because you asked like you asked me like I just I'm just proud of you. Keep doing what you're doing. Stop letting fuckery get to you. Period. Fuck with the Period. bullshit. You took hold. You took control of your daughter. Don't let that bullshit come back in your life. Period. I speak wellness in your life. I speak understanding in your life. I speak blessings into... Alien life. If you was here in the city of Detroit, do you know how much love you would get? Like I have people here that watches you, that's been following you. Like I say, I just want to say, keep your head, baby. You're doing the right thing. Don't let that bullshit get to you. Keep struggling. I love you, ma. I appreciate you. Okay. And kiss Eliani for me. I got love you. Love you, y'all. I, I love you too. That's love right there in the room, for real. I appreciate you. Oh, wow. I'm going to do it for you. Yes, that's actual love. Hey, Heaven the Coach, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing actually well today. I feel uplifted. Okay, that's so good. So I wanted to ask you, like, on a personal level, I feel like a lot of women or people don't really help other women understand when or how to identify when it's time to leave. I think, like, I'm trying to figure out how do we supposed to know? I mean, obviously you're public and we know that you left, but how do the normal girl realize when it's time to go? You want me to answer that? Yeah, girl, because I okay. need help, girl. Okay, I'm going to answer it. Thank you for the gifts, Fly. Thank you, y'all. I appreciate it. Okay, so I'm going to put, I'm a, there's two sides. There's two sides to it because we have to consider, and this is where compassion comes in. This is where understanding comes in, empathy, sympathy. You know, this is when you really take off of what you think or take yourself out of what you think and put yourself in someone else's shoes. Right? So okay. a lot of us go through transformations. A lot of us go through things that teach us, that are needed for us to go through to teach us. Um, only God knows the timing in which each individual will spin in the relationship, whether it's toxic or healthy. Only God knows that amount of time that they'll spend in that union. Now, we're saying that because some people argue like, oh, well, you're supposed to be this age and know better. Or if you're this age, then you get a pass because you didn't know better. 
But when in actuality, it's not about age and what, what the expectations we put on each other to know rather than looking at somebody's mind, understanding how they think and understanding what it is that they need to grow through and how they interpret and process information. That is what we need to be looking at, not how old someone is. Now, in that regard, that can vary. That can go into many aspects. I can start talking about my situation. You can start talking about yours. But for me personally, I'm only speaking from experience at this point. It or When I figured out it's time to leave was when I seen something that caused confusion. As soon as I seen confusion, not it's like, okay, so some things could confuse you. But then there are some things that just don't sit right. It just do not sit right with you. As a woman, because we have all of these ideas and all of this love and all of this um, romantic emotional energy, we continue to see potential beyond the red flag that we get. Usually a red Mm. flag is something that literally hits your core and it's usually in the form of confusion. And when you ask the person to clarify the confusion and they're not able to clarify it, something is definitely wrong. But if they are a person who can clarify it, but is using somehow your past experiences or maybe your childhood or what you like and what you don't like against you to clarify that energy, that is a manipulation tactic. That is something that is toxic. That is a red flag. Um, Or if it comes in the form of you praying and you diligently being in the atmosphere to absorb and receive the message that God sends to you for the for the uh, thing that you're going through. And God tells you what you were feeling or confirms what you were feeling like, oh, this is not good or this is not resonating. That is time to go. That is time to leave. Period. Period. And some of us. We, would, we have the, a lot of us have this way in us where we see the first red flag, we say, okay, that, that didn't sit right with me, but I'm going to see like what more beyond that. I'm going to see more beyond that. We stay in a relationship. Something else happens and we're like, oh my God, I felt this. I felt this before, but then we ignore it again. And then something else happens and then we're like, okay, this ain't good. So maybe some of us, it takes two strikes. Some of us, it takes three strikes. Some of us, it's the first strike. But within within feeling, that gut feeling, like I told you, if it hits you to be confusing or it hits you to be, like, not resonating at all, it's probably a red flag for you. And so um, even within however we choose to fill out those red flags, just always make sure that through the process, you're constantly turning to yourself <laughs> excuse me, (coughs) and asking yourself, is this something that I deserve? Is this something that, that, um, stains my health? Is this something that makes me happy? Because people say, have this argument around, um, you might need, you might need to stay in something that's not making you happy. Like, um, trying to use unhealthy situations and normalize it. This is a red flag because God does not want us to be in um, unhappiness. God told us specifically in the commandments to be fruitful, to be happy, and to rejoice in the essence of life. Not to uh, be in life and be miserable and create circumstances for ourselves where we're not happy. That is not what God wants us to do. And this is why a lot of people are physically sick because God is trying to tell them through their physical vessel that what you're doing to yourself, the lifestyle that you are living is not healthy and is not congruent to who you are. So if it's something that's depleting your energy, something that is not making you happy, you need to get out. It is love, friendship, companionship, whatever it is, a house, a car, whatever it is, is not supposed to take away from you unless you're the type of person that has a blessing and that self-sabotages that blessing by seeing it as something negative and miss your opportunity, if that makes sense. And I hope that I answered your question, Kevin the Coach. 
Yes, girl, you did. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Let me see. I'm going to let you. And, and D Bonita, D Bonita, you're going to be my last caller, okay? Hey, treasures. Hey, I just wanted to piggyback off what you said. And it's basically with a relationship, you have to have that good feeling, something that doesn't make you feel like yourself. So when it's starting to change you from your identity, then it's time to pull away because that's, you're not, it's not going to resonate in your spirit because it's not in your spirit. You wasn't raised up in that type of environment because I know I have three daughters. I went through a nine-year abusive relationship, but I learned from it. Mm -hmm. I learned from it. I learned from after I left, I was 23 with two daughters. I went and got two college degrees. So anything is possible. But I need to say that I turned my life around at 25. So it's never too late to grab a hold of everything. I raised my daughters by myself. Happy and, Father's Day. Happy Mother's right. Day. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I'm relaxing on Father's Day. But I'm saying that each life lesson is a lesson. And if you don't learn, then that's when it's a problem. But when you take that and you learn from it and you take that experience and say, you know what? When I go into my next relationship, I don't want to feel like this. But if you go in that relationship and you feel that, instantly you start noticing those red flags. You're saying, hey, okay, I remember feeling like this and I don't want to feel like this again. Yeah, so anything that takes away from your happiness, anything that takes away, and it's called women, black women, we like to say tired, but we're not tired. <laughs> we're not tired. We got a lot of energy to give off love, nurturing, and care. And you keep doing what you're doing. You, you are wise beyond your years, I promise you. I love you, Treasure. I love you. I love, I love you more. I, oh, wait, I don't follow you? What? Okay, no. no. I follow you. I follow you now. I follow you. Okay. It's so I love good. you. Before you go, before you go, it's mm -hmm. so good. It's so good to meet people who understand, like who truly understand. The intellect. We live in a world where everybody's like, most people, I'm going to say everybody, but most people are in this delusion. Like they are literally in delusions with themselves and with other people. So they're causing friction. They're causing toxicity. They're causing weirdo shit. To confusion. Happen. Yeah. Confusion. Get weirdo stuff. That shit is because you know what? I noticed what I'm going to say is I noticed people put an image for social media. And when they cut that off, it's a whole different ball game. Like. You know, they don't live their life anymore. So that's why it's kind of, some people don't know how to, def you know, do that. But some people just have a gift of gab to be able to, oh, we're going to act like this in front of people. But when I get you home, we're going to be like this. No. That's the stuff that we have to start. That, and this is, a, this is a part of why the feminine community in today's time is tapping into their intuition, their femininity, and stuff like that, reading tarot cards and using crystals, because we trying to feel more nowadays, y'all. Because right. the situation that I was in, we trying to feel that shit before it takes off to spur into three years or into- Yeah, exactly. Four. You need to be able to cut it off at the root. Exactly, like, hey, exactly. You gotta, yeah. But as long as- As long as we learn those patterns before it's too late, like we have to- we have to tune back into how we feel so we can calculate those patterns rather than right, miscalculate right, right. them and, and just letting them go by and then we just not. You know what? One thing that really helped me, I started writing down how I felt. Like, me too. today I feel blessed. And then I'll be like, yesterday I felt stressed. Or today I feel, and I started writing tired. I wasn't tired anymore. Like, I'm not tired. Like, it's so much I want to do. I have so much energy. And I just pray all the time. Like, give me energy. I just want normal, natural energy, good energy. And you will go, the, the universe is going to take you where you need to be to get that energy. Yeah. But if you have negative energy, if you have negative people around you putting telling you that you're not good enough, you're going to be negative. For real, though. That but you're always good off. enough. Yeah, yeah, you're always good enough. You're always good enough. I wanted to add on to what you were saying when, when you said um, you used to write down how you feel and you used to feel blessed one day and you used to feel stressed one day as an example, right? So for me, what I started doing when I did that, 
I started asking myself what made me feel blessed. And I said, this, this, and this, and this. And I said, what made me feel stressed? And it was this, this, and this, and this. If it's healthy for you, that's what you keep. If it's not healthy for you, that is exactly what you need to let go of and disconnect yourself from. It might be right. hard. It might be hard. Depending it's on hard. Says, but it's the best for you. Because if you have children, you're implementing those negative characteristics in your child. And that is the right. shit that we talk about, generational curses. Curse. Generational curses. You know how, you know how you're, like I said, when you come home and you're like, I'm tired. And you're saying that all the time in front of your kids. Like, I, I just like, so when I started on my spiritual journey, I was able to come home and be like, you know what, y'all, let's go shopping. Because, like, everything was good. You know, like, the more you get closer to yourself. Feel good. good. Right. You yeah, you want to feel good. You want to be good. Right. And we are good. Exactly. <laughs> we Thank are good. Fly. Thank you, Fly. Y'all going to have me start twerking on Big Because <laughs> you good. Exactly. Because I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> oh, my God. This is so much life. I love you, Chargers. I love you. I love you, too. <laughs> Kiss that baby for me. Thank you. Hey, Tweet, how are you? I always see you in the building. Hey, Velvet, how are you? I am so happy to finally be able to talk to you. I know. Um, I'm like kind of new to um, Bigo. I don't know a lot. Like, I've never come up in a queue and spoke to anybody, but I like just had to talk to you. I didn't want you to think I was a weirdo, but it was like, I just want to let you know you are such a beautiful person. Like your spirit, your aura, just everything just like drew me into you. And I was just like, I just like immediately cared for you. And I just wanted everything that was best in the world that could possibly happen for you to happen to you. And um, I had to kind of go back and like do some research. Wait, you breaking up, tweet? You breaking up a little bit? I can't hear you for some reason. Okay, can, can you hear me now? That's better. Okay, I went back and did some research, and I looked at where you came from to where you're at, and I am so proud of you. Do not ever let people. We are doing it. We are proud of you. And you're doing it. Okay? Like, I look at you and I in awe because you can 30, 30 years old. And just like you, at 15, I was in a terrible relationship. And I was doing so physical, abusive, humiliating. Humili think of this man was everything you know that and I finally and he almost took my world away mm -mm. and I finally got away from it and got out of it but what I wanted to tell you though is when I sent you that email other day no matter what you do you are blessed don't you ever look back don't ever ever look back so good come your way. And I'm telling you, guess what? Now I am married to a man who like this is the ground I walk on. I'm married to the sweetest guy in the world now. I got blessed. And baby, you are gonna be that same way. You just keep that same spirit. And I mean, there is just no way blessings cannot flow upon you with how you are. A life, and I just want to let you know, Velvet. Like this is real talk. I live in Texas. I got you because you are somebody that I don't want to see fail. You don't deserve fail. You deserve nothing but prosperity. 
for you and baby Ellie and the new little baby to come. And I can't wait to see the blessings and the great things that happen to you guys in the next few years. Yes. Yes, Tweet. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you for sending gifts to me. Thank you, Fly. I appreciate that. No Thank problem. You. Thank you. All right. I'm gonna stop off and I'm going to keep watching you. You take care of yourself. Take care of that baby. Let us know what you're having so we can give you your virtual baby shower, okay? We all are waiting, all right? I'm Bye. So <laughs> I'm so excited. Bye, girly. See you later. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is so much love right now. Oh, my God. Yes, let me tell you. I agree with what y'all saying in the comments. Yes. This pregnancy is a divine pregnancy. This is not just, oh, Velvet just got pregnant. Like, no, bitch. I'm, this is, this is some godly shit happening. They're like, oh, you curse when you say God. Let me tell you something. This is some godly shit happening over here, okay? This baby is protecting these. Come on, come on, come on. I'm not even kidding. Hey, Velvet. Hey, D. Look, so I just gotta let you know, I do know you personally. You do? Yes, we went to Coghill together. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Yeah, like, I don't know if you remember me. My name Drika, Earl Drika. I do remember that name, but I can't put a face. It's been a long time, though. Kage, I used to be real close with Miss Brown, like red thick. I might have to. Rem I might have to look at your profile. Oh my! But yeah. Goodness. So anyway, I, just just to let you know, like from me watching you, like I I, I do watch you because it, I it's also like personal for me because for some. Like guys like that always come to me. You know what I'm saying? So by watching you, it was just like, wow, look at her. <laughs> look at her. Well, I'm gonna connect with you. Like, I'm gonna connect with you. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna connect. follow you. I, I, you I, I, yeah, girl. We was yeah, I, I used to talk to you sometimes or whatever. You was um in a lower grade though, but you know. How was I to you? Me. How was I to you when I when you used to talk to me? Like what impression did you get see, from me? If see the thing me? is I'm 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 Aries, you know, I'm I'm very understanding and I've always been like that since I was very young. I'm very sensitive. I could feel other people's emotions. So I also also like always felt like you was kinda going through something. I don't know what, but I know you was just not quiet. You know, you ain't talk to nobody like that. You'll be sitting in the back of the bus. We rode the same bus. <laughs> you sit in the back of just sitting by yourself. You know, if some boys, you know, he was cute. Boys would talk to you. But mostly just boys. <laughs> yeah, it was always but, boys. I don't know why. Boys always yeah. surrounded me. Like, uh, everywhere I went. Yeah. Everywhere. Even when I grew up, I grew up with boys. Because you and your sister. You and your sister was beautiful. So, you know, you know how they went. Yeah. I yeah, appreciate girl. you. I appreciate you coming on the panel. That's that's what's up. But I, I was when I was watching you, just to let you know, I was never like a commenter. I, I don't I don't even comment on live. See, and now I'm not commenting on your live now. I'm just watching. I just watch because I know you. So it's like personal for me. I'm like, don't fuck with her. But I don't <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like like, yeah. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. Block me and I can't watch no more, so I still I, I ain't say shit. Well, good thing, <laughs> good thing I have my own platform, so now we could chat, we could yeah. do what we want. Yeah. You ain't never answer my this is like my first your first time answering. Somebody calling me too. Hold on, let me answer the phone for her. <laughs> no, I follow you now. Hey, don't right. give me a um, give me one second. I'm about to end this live. Give me one second. If you could please be on hold right quick. Okay, okay. Hey, True Essence. True Hi, Essence. friend in my, my head. Caller, you my last caller, True Essence. Okay, save the best for last, baby girl. <laughs> um, You are my friend in my head. I had already told you that. 
it seemed like we're kindred spirits. I mean, I've been wild following your journey from when you, before you even had the um, baby Eliana. Mm -hmm. And I just want to let you know that, oh my God, you are such an inspiration. You don't even know how many people that you're helping. You are so strong and beautiful for you to escape a, a abusive relationship like that. For one, is such a fucking powerful thing to do, let alone from a whole damn other country. All right. Okay. Right. With a baby. <laughs> With a baby. Okay. There's people that I know that's still in abusive relationships right now that's not even trying to get out. You know what I'm saying? And also, my oldest sister was uh, murdered by her abusive um, husband oh, wow. that she was with for over 10 years. So this, um, your situation really touched me a lot uh, for a lot of different, you know, reasons. And like, when you're happy, I'm happy. <laughs> Every time I see you smile, oh my God, I just feel like there's no cares in the world anymore. Because I followed you just now. Thank you so much. And I just wish the best for you. I'm always writing for you. Can nobody say nothing bad about you? Because uh, you're a survivor, baby girl. Hey, you yes. are a strong survivor, okay? You twerk it out, baby. You twerk it out. Twerk it for the haters, okay? <laughs> twerk it for Thank the you. haters. You deserve the best. And just let just let you know that I'm always writing for you in these comments on all these different platforms. And I don't give a damn if they kick me out or not. <laughs> and then I um I also want to give you another bit of information. Um I'm gonna I I'm gonna Instagram you, uh, uh I'm gonna DM you on Instagram. Okay. Because um, I don't even want to bring it up right now because we're having a positive day and I don't want to bring you, you know, no negativity and uh, positive, positive vibes only. And God bless you and baby Eliana. And let and then always know I'm always here for you. I'm always writing for you. I appreciate so you. you keep too. smiling and you keep shining on them, okay? I appreciate you. All right, no problem. Thank you. And I'll Thank hit your DM a little bit later. Okay, I'm going to be looking forward. Okay, you have a great day. You too. Later. <laughs> okay, all later. Right, so I'm at a go. I appreciate all the support. I, su I appreciate everything that's coming to me, Lord.